The worship of the dragon in China has a long history. Starting from the Tang Dynasty, many legends relating to dragons emerged. Dragons were depicted in various forms, both benevolent and malevolent. In Zhejiakou's valleys in Sichuan Province, China, a beautiful place with clear lakes, waterfalls, and colorful mountains. There is a legend about two dragons. Not far from Zhejiakou's valleys, there is a river called Heishui, Black Water. River, where a big black dragon resides. Although Blackwater River is not far from Jojaiko Valleys, it is very poor in resources, and the big black dragon often went hungry due to the lack of sufficient food. So the big black dragon decided to occupy Jojaiko Valleys, taking over their beautiful scenery and abundant resources. Guarding Jojaiko's valleys, there was a kind-hearted little white dragon. The little white dragon lived in harmony with the plants and animals of Jojaiko's valleys, creating a beautiful landscape. Unsuspecting little white dragon was overpowered by the mighty black dragon and was forced to leave. The Jade Emperor was selecting twelve animals to be the zodiac altar signs. The first twelve in the zodiac race would be designated as zodiac signs. The first one would also receive a special divine power bestowed by the Jade Emperor. A special divine power bestowed by the Jade Emperor. The little white dragon used his ability to fly through the air and searched for a long time from up in the sky. Eventually, he saw a sign of the divine altar. Help! Help! A gray wolf was about to catch and eat a little white rabbit. During the race, the little white dragon hesitated. Should it save the little white rabbit? On one hand, there was the competition to protect its homeland and gain divine power. On the other hand, the pitiful rabbit was about to become a wolf's meal. The little white dragon struggled internally. Unexpectedly, the gray wolf proved to be a formidable opponent, and the little white dragon spent more time than expected. Finally, the little white dragon defeated the fierce gray wolf. When it arrived at the divine altar, it was disappointed to receive only fifth place. According to the rules of the competition. It was not granted divine power. After granting each animal a divine title, the Jade Emperor departed, but left the little white dragon with a message. It's 
suggested that defeating the black dragon solely with its own power was too difficult, but by gathering the power of all living beings and focusing it on itself, it could acquire the power to defeat the black dragon. However, with borrowing comes repayment. The little white dragon had to decide for itself. Every day, the little white dragon diligently trained and learned to gather spiritual energy in the mountains and forests. After a period of aggregation, its power reached a level where it could confront the mighty black dragon. But what does with borrowing comes repayment mean? The little white dragon didn't spend time worrying about that. It decided to confront the black dragon immediately. Ha ha ha! Although you have gained the power to rival me in just a few days, you still cannot defeat me. At that moment, the little white dragon remembered the last words of the Jade Emperor. With borrowing comes repayment. Oh, with borrowing comes repayment. The little white dragon had an epiphany. In this way, Jojai Go's valleys regained their vitality, and the scenery became increasingly beautiful. Every morning, as a faint mist rose from the mountains, it seemed as if the little white dragon was hovering over Jojai Go's valleys, silently guarding them. What exactly is the power bestowed on the first place animal? You mean the rat? I have bestowed upon it the incredible abilities of adaptability and reproduction. What amazing powers! <laughs>